Hi and welcome to this video. My new lens has finally arrived. The Sigma 100 to 400 millimeter lens. My new lens for landscape photography. And I have with it as well the USB dock. So in this video, I'll be doing an unboxing of both of these, both the lens and the USB mount. Um, and then we'll be showing some sample images. Okay then everybody, let's get this baby un unboxed. Right, here we go. Let's open up the box. Take the cardboard protection off the top. This is really, really well protected, really well wrapped. Um, we'll take the lens out of the box. That is awesome. Let me get rid of that box now. We don't need that. I'll try not to destroy the lens. Okay, so let's open up this. We've got the lens cap there. We'll open that in one second. Let's first of all just take a look at the lens. Here we go. Here we have the lens. Absolute perfect weight. This is going to be super good for my landscape photography for those really extended images where I want to zoom in. So we've got the obviously the obligatory dust caps, really well made. I'll go on location in a few moments, so I'll share some of those initial images with you. We've got the lock there, which is great, so now we can extend. There's the lens fully extended. I do hope that's focused for you okay there. I think it might have gone out of focus very slightly. Um, so we can lock that at the short end. That is really useful when on... Uh, on the move and the reason i've gone for this one over the 150 to 600 is twofold one is i have an aps-c camera so actually this effectively gives me a kind of 150 to 600 length anyway um, and also the weight it's just over one kilogram whereas the 150 to 600 is over two kilograms and when i'm hiking up in the hills i don't want to be carrying that weight so what i don't want to be doing is leaving the lens at home this is something that will always be with me here is the lens cap really good quality nicely made so we don't need the plastic bags anymore i'm making a lot of noise with the plastic bags but let's get rid of those this is something that will prove extremely useful in the field so let's now take a look at the lens hood and here we go when we put that on it just slips in straight into position clicks in nice and firm that isn't going anywhere that'll be great for not just the stray light coming into the lens but also acts as a rain cover which is really useful here in the UK. And let's now take a brief look at the USB mount, the dock, so that I can update the firmware. If there's any firmware updates done, uh, I will let you know in advance. Um, we have the obligatory USB cable, so that's pretty useful, straight out of the back. And this is really all it is. So we just have the mount there for connecting it to the lens. Um, so that we can update the firmware, tailor any focusing, etc., etc., that we may, we may want to do. I hope that's proven useful. Well, I'm going to go out in the field now, as I've mentioned, and we'll take some photographs initially with the lens initially, and uh, just stay tuned, and I'll show you some of my first and initial uh, landscape photographs taken with the 100 to 400 lens. I've been so excited to get this for so long. I'm really get, I'm just can't wait to get out now. I'm in location now with the 100 to 400. I'm on one of my favorite hills in this local area. It's very wooded. It's a little bit overcast today. So we'll see what we can do. I will head on up to the top. This is the first of many images that I want to show you from my first shoot with the Sigma 100 to 400. In this one, I'm using the zoom to compress the image, blur in the foreground to provide context and depth to the image. And here I've zoomed in on the detail of the gorse bush. Here we can really demonstrate the, the sharpness of the image. And we've blurred the wood in the foreground just to give it a little bit of context and frame the bottom of the image. Whilst walking up the trail, I noticed a number of bluebell patches. These were perfect for demonstrating here where we can really bring into focus the mid-range whilst blurring out the distance and the foreground, really layering this image and the capability of the lens to do this for us. And in a similar style, here we've gone to further extremes, blurring out the rocks in the foreground whilst having the bluebells on the horizon with the distant landscape blurred in the background. Now that I'm at the top, what I'm looking for is some images within the fields below. I've spotted in the past a series of images that I wanted to capture 
in the valley below from the river and also the agricultural fields. So let's see what images we can capture from those and enjoy the following that I've managed to get today. The lens allowed me to zoom right in on the agricultural fields. Here we get a more abstract image of the lines of the field with the telegraph poles cutting across at a diagonal and the road dissecting the top of the image for us. This image would not have been possible without the reach of the 400 millimeter or shooting with a shorter zoom and doing significant cropping in post-processing. And in this one, it really allowed us to pick out the S shape and the meandering of the stream through the fields to really create a strong striking image. Again, not possible without the reach of the 400 millimeter zoom. I also wanted to test the lens in high contrast scenarios. So I took it to the coast for sunset and here are the resultant images. And as you can see from this image, the lens copes really, really well at maximum zoom. Here capturing the contrast and the detail is blurred in the foreground, creating a really striking image. And the contrast in this one is extreme. Bright sunlight reflected in the sea. It really captures the sharpness of the seagrass in the foreground to provide again a striking image. I hope that you found this video useful and informative for the lens and the quality of the images that it's capable of taking. I'll be using this lens extensively on my landscape photography journey going forward and in numerous videos for the channel. I highly recommend this lens for landscape photography and other kinds of photography too. The image quality is outstanding and the value for money is absolutely remarkable. If you have enjoyed this video, and enjoy this, please check out my other videos on the channel and please subscribe. Your support for this channel is very, very much appreciated as we continue to grow uh, right at the beginning of our journey. Thank you for watching.